stampers, Deb Valder, Stampin' Up! demonstrator here, and I'm going to show you how to make this little coffee cup filled with hot chocolate. I took a recipe that I, I used to make hot chocolate. I added some mini marshmallows in one of our cellophane bags and put a little bow on it, and that is what is on the inside of this adorable little coffee cup holder. Okay, you might remember earlier on that I had made a couple of other ones. Here's one um, that I had done. Here's another one that I had done. Um, here's one that I did with our Festive Flurries stamp set, and also here's another one that I did for Christmas gifts. So there's a lot of things that you can do with the coffee cups, the mini coffee cups, but today I decided to use it for um, my little snowman. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I did was I took the lid and I covered it. Um, I actually took the... Um, the lid and I used our Sharpie marker, a Sharpie marker, and you just color it. Um, it's very easy, it doesn't take very much time, you just color it and um, you're good for the top. So that would be this part of the lid, okay? It comes out nice and shiny, it's just really adorable. So that's the lid. Now to do the face, what I did was I took the um, mini punch that we have, it's from a set, and um, I just punched out five of our um, little punches with black uh, cardstock. So I used um, five, I punched out five circles. And then for the nose, what I did was I used the um, the bird punch. Okay, so this is the bird punch. And I just used his, used his wing for the nose. And after I punched it out, I used um, pumpkin pie paper. So what I did was I just punched this little guy out here just like this. And then what I did was I took um, a sponge and I just sponged all the way around with some tangerine tango. Okay, so I punched out five of these. I then, in that was in the basic black, then I punched out one of the bird punch and I just sponged all the way around it. Then what I did was I took, um, as you can see, I just um, opened it up on both sides. So what I did was after sponging it, I just kind of pulled it apart um, from side to side and I put some of our Tombow glue um, in there to help um, to add it to my um, my lid. So I just took some of our glue, I added it right to here, and then on the cup itself, I just glued it right to here. Now my biggest dilemma was, does the curve go up or does the curve go down? And on this little guy right here, I did the curve up. Okay, so that's his nose. Um, we're almost done, believe it or not. So here's his two eyes. I added his nose. I also used the Tombow Green Glue to add those. And then I just added a 14-inch piece of ribbon and made a bow out of it. And that is the, that is the whole way that I did the, um, the snowman. Uh, it's, it's been snowing here for two days, and I just thought it was very appropriate. So you can just um, make up some of my hot chocolate, add some mini marshmallows, um, pop a little bow around that, stick it on the inside, pop the top on and what a great little gift to give. I hope you enjoyed my post. Take care and have a great day.